it, I see D12 all over my dinghies. Um, but in the catalogue, I see SK78, SK99, all sorts of different SK levels of Dyneema. Um, can you just shed a little bit more light on what they are, what the difference is between all of them? Yeah, sure. It's about <clears throat> what's right for the application. So, standard SK75, you will find um, D12 used in the core of the sheets um, and in halyards, tweakers, you can see it all really here laid out for you. So, the inside of XL Racing has a SK78 core, it's a pre stretch core. Uh, the same as the rest of our D12. If we need a higher brake load for the same diameter, that's where we would move to SK99. So it's a higher load application where you want to keep the diameter still the same thickness, rather than go up a diameter of rope still in SK78 to gain a higher brake load. The other option you have is, we can see here within the, uh, the uh, standing rigging, with tension, yeah. We've got SK99 Max in here. So Max is basically a, a 4mm rope pre-stretched down to a 3mm rope, or a 3.5mm rope pre-stretched down to a 3mm rope. So you get a higher brake load, much, much higher brake load. We take out all of the material elongation, we do all the pre-stretching, so that when you put it in a high load function like this, you get very little elongation you would only get that creep after 16 to 24 hours. That's not even relevant on a dinghy, so it's all about mechanical elongation and the maxing process takes that out. So, just to be sure, SK78, SK99 is to do with load, yep. and max, by and large, using max product is to do with creep and stretch. It's to do with stretch and mechanical elongation.